I don't know why is it not sharp right now. Um, hmm. Let's see what is going on. Still not. Okay, it's better now. Okay, so there are our cuts. And what I want to do, um, we can keep, how many cuts do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Um, we can go for five cuts or we can just draw three. It's up to you. The most important is right now to create hats of the cuts. So I'm placing the image on this side for myself as a reference and I start drawing the hats. So I will go for the oval shape. See, approximately. Make sure that you don't press the pencil hard. Okay, so I have this one oval shape. Now I need to place the ears. So one ear like a triangle, triangle here on one side and I place another triangle on the other side. So having now the ears and the oval shape representing the head, more or less we can guess that that will be a cut. The next step will be to draw the nose. So another triangle, smaller or larger, that's up to you. And then like an anchor, we will create the mouth. So one line and another line. So the cut is now smiling very much. What we are have to still have to do are the eyes. So notice what I'm doing. I'm going with the line that is vertical. Okay, and then I'm rounding it up for like half circle. You see another one, half circle to have the eyes. So here we have our cut. But the cut is still missing eyes. Let me see, this is still the camera. It's not perfectly placed. I want our cut to be seen. So I may be moving it. What I have to do? Let's see, I will just... We all learn that's a process for all of us. I'm moving it here a little bit, so the scale is different. Now it's good. Okay, so I have to fill the eyes. I put the irises and I place another iris. As you notice, they are not really perfect circles. And that will be the eye. Okay, I can make them darker. Now, what I also will need to do, I will need to put the center of the eye of the ears and maybe a couple of whiskers, right? So first the dots, right? Couple of dots and then if we don't have this on the image, but I would like to put the whiskers. You see? Just press the, bat the pencil and let it smudge on one on another side. So here we have whiskers, we have the eyes, we have the nose, we have the mouth and my suggestion would be that now we can think about drawing another cut before we proceed with the body. So I think we can have a little bit smaller head, again, oval shape. Here. Ears. And another ear here. If you want to right away. I think this ear is a little bit too skinny, so I make it a little bit wider. Then another triangle in the center representing the, the inside of the ear. Now, I want to go for the nose. So another nice triangle. Remember, here we'll make the bridge of the nose and then the eyes of the cat will be closed, believe me or not. So I'm closing them. So I'm going with this shape, rounded semicircle, semicircle, and then if you want to very lightly on the top, right? That will be the crease for the eyelid. Now, from there, I want to create the mouth. I still believe that the cat should smile, so I will make just one line going up, down, and up, okay? So the cat is smiling. See, if you want to, you can make eyelashes. You see? Yeah, why not? We will make the eyelashes for our, our cat, and then, again, we want to have some whiskers here, a couple of dots, and then... From, this, from the centers of those dots, you will push the whiskers, right? Here we are. Now, another cut. I think we should have another one. What do you think? Maybe here. I think that would be a good place. Another oval shape, right? Now, what we should do, the next step, who can tell me? Yes, you are right, the ears. So one ear and the other one. 
What will be the next step? Who can, rem who can remind me? 100% the center of the ear. The next step, which part of the face? Eye, nose, mouth on the whiskers. Yes, you are right, the nose. So we have a triangle here, right? Then we have to create the mouth. One line, another, like an anchor here, right? Then we go for the bridge of the nose, not very big, and we have to create semicircles, right? So one and another one here, right? The cat will have the eyes open, so here we are, okay? And all what we now need to have are the whiskers. Excellent. Here, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, okay? Uh, well, let me see. Maybe we'll put the other two cuts. Okay, so very fast. Oval shape here. We have another one here. I'm putting the ears. See here, another one here. Nose and nose. Mouth, 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 mouth. And the eye, and the eye. Right? Oh! Too close, guys, too close, a little bit higher, okay? A little bit higher. Now, with this cut, let's see, we'll bring it up, eye, and the eye. See here, here, here. Oh, the center of the ears. And then the one more thing, we can round it nicely, the eyes. Here we are, dots, 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 dots. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, now the bodies, the bodies. Okay, so we start from the, maybe from the first cut. So that's the body of the first cut. See a little bit wider. Then we get the shape of the, which cut should be the first one. I would put this cut here. So, okay, here. Then the next one will be here. Next one here. And then I make this one really big. See? Here we have our cuts. Uh, the next step will be to think about the pattern. So let's see, I like to have a um, line. Here first I will apply rounded lines here for this cut. For this cut here, I would like to have polka dots, okay? So here, more. Maybe the next one should have, you see, don't forget about the sides. Also put some of those dots halfway through. Now, the other one, maybe I like to have some cross lines, okay? See, cross lines. This one here, I want to have the lines, wiggly lines, right? And this one here, maybe the stars or what you think. Different shapes here, I like to have. Really play with different shapes, okay? See, and then we will have our beautiful cuts. Maybe here I still would put some other patterns here. Now, what we want to do, we want to start working with coloring here, right? So, for sure, the background should have one color. And this background, there where you don't have the cuts, we call negative space. Okay, negative space, guys, here. Then we will be working on the positive space, which will be the, the more interesting space, the cuts. And after that, we can decide if you use markers, if you have pencil crayons, or just, let's see, what else can we use? Pastels. So, good luck, have lots of fun, and see you next time. Bye.